Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. So with your new show, uh, before we wrap this up here, yeah. who's your dream guest to have on? Because there's got to be a list. I, I know we have ours. Yep. Um, one of them's Post Malone. Yep. We were dying to get Posty on the show. I just saw his head. We posted on our Instagram. His head's on a Bud Light can for the fall. We love Post Malone. Yep. Trying to get him on. Rogan. We're trying to get on Joe Rogan. More of a Bud Heavy guy myself, but mm. I like Post Malone. Same. Same. I like Post Malone. Yeah. Yeah, he's great. Who's your dream guest that you want to get on your show? Oprah? Because I know you're big in inspiration. Yes. Um, you know, one of my, my first couple that I was thinking, I, I like Sharon Stone. Ah. And she went through a similar thing that you did. You know that, right? Yeah. She I had like a, uh, a stroke, mm -hmm. and then she was nuked out of the business for like five years. And believe it or not, I would like to have Chris Kardashian on the show just because I think that she's got stories. Boy, does and she she's ever. she's a social media just guru. Yeah, and I was going to say, do you think you could unpack her stories from the fact that she's used to living her life in reality t TV now? Does, does she even have normal conversations anymore? I don't. You, I, you know, when I, because I, I did their show. Yeah. And I went on with Bruce mm -hmm. when he was Bruce. Yeah. And she and I said, look, I'm not going to come on the show unless unless I talk to Chris because I'm not a, I'm not a home wrecker. Yeah. And she called me up and she couldn't have been any cooler. She called me off up off camera and it, it she said, look, we're just trying to have some fun on the show. And, you know, we'll just, you know, she she, we, she did the rundown of what we were going to do. And and I just thought she was great. I think they're all geniuses, to be honest. And she's super smart. They're rich she's, as shit, too. And mar marketing geniuses. Yeah, it's her. Yeah, it's her. She understood how to monetize social media and she changed the entire business. Oh, yeah. Big time. And it's because of her. And I would love to interview her. Just I mean, I don't necessarily believe in what the Kardashians and are all doing, but, you know, I would rather have a different role model as a girl growing up. Sure. But you mean than Caitlin? <laughs> Blammo! <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. Uh, and well, I mean, it's just, just you know, being famous for a porn is, you know. You know what the Kardashian name was famous, though, beforehand? Full yes. circle moment. OJ. 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 Reppin' OJ. Because um, she was there. When I watched that 10-part uh, that doc series that ended up winning the Oscar on OJ, mm -hmm. I didn't know Chris Kardashian was, like, in the courtroom. She was really good friends with Nicole, yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's Selma what Blair split up their relationship yeah. was because he was repping OJ and she was friends with Nicole and she was like, I can't support this that you, you're right. representing a murderer, a double murder uh, that we know of, you know? Yeah. There yeah. might be somebody else in there. You got to think. And if, her friend. Oh, yeah. 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 Like her BFF. Yeah. That was her crew, yeah. That was her whole best season. <laughs> There's always been that rumor that uh, Chloe was OJ's kid. Although I don't, I don't put much stock in it. I've that. heard that rumor. It's crazy, right? Yeah, I mean, she's so much rumor. taller than everybody else in the group. And looks nothing like any of them. I know. What if it was Juice's kid? <laughs> Man, could you believe that? That would be the ultimate reality twist, like right when the ratings are going down, because he's out of jail now. You pull him back in, you'd be like, guess what, Chloe? You might want to sit down. And, Chris and then they open the door and, and OJ's like, there. Psych? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm that would be the ultimate power move on that. <laughs> Oof. I yeah. Don't, I don't think Chris would ever do that. No. Even if it was nope. true, I don't think she would do it for an, any amount of money. Right? Uh, I don't think so either. If you like, how much more thing. money can they make, really? Like, when, when do you just get tired of all them? Like, hey, we've made a billion dollars, like literally a billion dollars. Let's just go live on an island somewhere and, and fuck off from this whole bullshit. Well, the son is done with it pretty much. He yeah. only sells what, Rob? socks or something. Yeah, and he, he doesn't do, he's not on camera anymore. I don't know. I don't know what they're. I, I don't. I really don't follow a lot of their stuff, but I like her. Gotcha. So Who else is on I just on like that? the genius of what she did. Yeah, yeah. Who else is on that list and for you? And Hillary Clinton. Really? Not that I like her because okay. I didn't vote for her, but I'd like to interview her. Who'd you vote for? Of, Let's get into the I personal didn't shit. I did vote that year. And tell me all the fucking I people in Hollywood that you hate and who you voted I didn't, for. I did <laughs> not kidding. vote that year because I know Donald personally. Yeah. And I didn't vote for Hillary. Really? So, so you know Donald Trump personally? Yes, I have his phone number on my phone. All right, let's get that. Because You're kidding. 
I've known him for 20 some years. Well, he's been involved more than in that, all the so. pageant stuff for years. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've known, I, I, I knew him before he married Marla. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were, it was like a whole crew of people that lived yeah, you're in talking New about York. Marla and, Maples, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, and I love Marla. I did a TV show with her and she's like the nicest woman in the world that I, I, I just still to this day, I don't understand how she did that. Uh, oh. that she was married to him. Mm hmm. I, I met him a couple of times. He seemed like a good dude, but I didn't know him. I, I don't know him the way you did. <laughs> so there's, there's I, no I, opened the, I opened the World Cup um, golf with, mm -hmm. with Donald. And my parents were there. And he walked right up to my mom and dad. And he said, you know, I tried to date your daughter, but she wanted nothing to do with me. And I looked at him and I went, I still don't. <laughs> really? <laughs> was he behind yeah, the scenes? Was he a dirtbag? What was the sitch? He put my name in page six right away that we, that we had were dating and I had only just met him and he called me up and I was because I was staying at the Plaza Hotel mm -hmm. whenever I flew in from Paris because I was living in Paris I would live at the Plaza and he, he filled the room with roses but it was the wrong room so he, and then I met him at a party and he had it posted in the post mm -hmm. that I was dating him and called me the next morning and said well, what do you think and I said don't ever do that again that's really wow don't do that again because it's not cool because it's not true and i just thought it was really rude yeah it's a little rude yeah so after that no con no contact no conversation after that well i shot him down pretty hard <laughs>